In this video, I will show you how you can construct a flammable gas detector or a carbon monoxide detector or a alcohol tester for a breathalyzer. All three sensors have the same pinout, two sets of three pins, and this is an MQ2, which is designed for flammable gases, and the carbon monoxide sensor will also have the same pinout as well as the alcohol. So my intent later on will be to have a socket on the end of this unit that I could change the heads for sensing different gases. Now the circuit I used is this one right here. It's very simple. It uses an LM3914. That's a barcode or a dot driver. This right here is the sensor. It has a 7805 uh, voltage regulator and a few resistors, a potentiometer, a couple of capacitors, a diode, and that's about it. Now the circuit does draw a fair amount of current, around 200 milliamps, because inside, inside this head there is a heating element. So you have to, that heating element draws some current. Now this is designed for a 9 volt battery, but a 9 volt battery, which I can use if you turn it on and then you do your sniffing around and then you turn it off. But to leave it on for a prolonged period of time, the battery is going to be dead in no time. So I'm looking for a different battery I can use in here. Maybe a little lithium ion or something else. I took the cover off. Unscrew it so I can show you. Pain in that cutting these holes. Alright, there's the circuit. Three greens, four, four ambers, and three reds. The highest gas concentration will go to the red, and the lowest will be green. I currently have it set that when the unit is on and stabilized, one green LED is illuminated. And I deactivated the bar driver, because I didn't want all these LEDs lighting up to the top, because that draws extra current. So I made it that each dot will each LED will light as the concentration gets higher and higher. The bottom one remains on. So from this point up, this one will go on, and then it goes off, that one goes on, that goes off, and it goes all the way up to the top. Now if you go on eBay and you want to spend some money and they're not cheap, you could buy one of those small little LED bar, bar meters, and they're flat LEDs, and it would take up a lot less space but I didn't have any handy so I just used the LEDs this way. On off switch, LED for power, and a big space inside the box for a battery. That's it. I'll demonstrate later, but it's fairly simple. Just cover it down. It's a very sensitive unit. It's incredible how sensitive it is. This particular circuit was designed for an inexpensive alcohol tester for a breathalyzer. And like I said, all I did was I used a different head for my purpose, which is flammable gases. So you could just swap the heads for any uh, detection that you would like to do. All right, I'm going to demonstrate now. Rather than drain my 9-volt battery down unnecessarily for demonstration, because I'm going to show you a lot of different gases here, I'm just going to take the cover off. Hook up an external 9 volt power supply. Let's put it right here. Alright, so I'm applying 9.2 volts right now. Now I'm going to turn the unit on. You'll see the power indicator. That's what it does. Before the heating element heats up, it does that and it comes back down. As the heating element heats, when it gets down to the bottom one, I know I'm ready to test. I have one more to go.
Okay, the unit is now ready. I'm going to lay it down for a minute. Okay, you can see that one's on. Now I got some propane right here. I'm going to, I'm going to let a little bit of gas out right near it. Wow, we're already at red. Coming back down. Now look, I'm going to take the, the bottle itself and hold it because there's residual gas inside the bottle, the tip. I'm going to hold it right over the front, watch. Now the bottom LED stays on all the time. I could turn it off and have the sensing start at the bottom, but I'd rather have the the bottom one on as a threshold to let me know roughly where I'm at. So when it's just the one, there's no detection. When you see the second LED trying to light, you know that there's some sort of a detection going on, a small amount of gas. Now I'm going to put a little bit of gasoline in front of it. This cap is off of a gasoline container. All right. Is that incredible? Look how good that works. This is just the cap off of a gas can. Put the cap back again. Smells the gas fumes. <laughs> Blowing the cap. Yep, now it's better. The fumes are gone. This would really be good for a boat if you wanted to install it inside your bilge. And then you could have an alarm on the dash. It could be an inexpensive flammable gas alert system for your boat. And then you'll know to turn the blower on. A lot of different uses. And like I said, you could swap the heads for anything you want to detect. Carbon monoxide, alcohol, and other things. Now inside the unit, right over here, is a potentiometer and that's what adjusts the threshold for the LEDs. Now how I adjusted this, I slowly rotated the potentiometer until the second LED went off and then I turned it a little extra. So it's pretty close to having that one go on when it detects something. Quick demo using isopropyl alcohol. Showing you that it works well with that also. I'm just, I'm just going to take the cap off and bring it near it. Watch this. Okay, already did, wow, to red, right from there. Boom. 